And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Intruder. Intruder is ranked 8th in his Diamond Division. That does say Diamond. With 2,992 points, 839 wins, and 816 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the West up against Intruder. He is the Blue Zerg player in the South. Finally, we get something that's not Protoss. I've been facing a lot of Protoss lately, and I have not liked it. Well, I do like it because I tend to do well against Protoss, but I want to show off more Zerg. I like facing Zerg players because it changes everything. When you face a Protoss or a Terran player, it seems uh, very similar strategies works uh, as, as far as my games tend to go if I want to go for two racks. Uh, that pretty much works whether it's a Protoss player or a Terran player. And he went for the Extractor trick? People still go for that? I did not realize. Have not been paying attention. Did I mention that the map is Metalopolis? I don't think I did. As you can see, I'm just doing a massive amount of work inside my base right now. Yeah, there's a lot of times where I'm kind of like, yeah, there's nothing I can do right now. There, there's nothing. Overlord is going to come in and spot my base right off the bat. And it looks like he's still on a 10 hatch? What? Well, not 10 hatch, sorry. He went for a 10 pool. 10 pool. I'm going to say that again. 10 pool. That is a cheesy rush tactic if I've ever seen one. Uh, what am I going for here? I'm getting the refinery up very early, if you'll notice. I, got, I went for it before I went for the barracks. That is because my initial plan is to go for the banshees. But when I see how early that spawning pool is, I just just get out of there. I, uh, I know immediately what I need to do. I need to get into my base and get minerals. But we are going to be seeing two extractors. So who knows what the hell's going on anymore. Um... He did finally get out of being 10-10. Queen is on the way, along with drones. No Zerglings yet. But I'm trying to get um, some some defenses up. Going for the bunker, going for the orbital command. Uh, I still have everybody on the refinery. Uh, I could probably pull a couple of those guys off because I, I will not need the gas for what I'm planning to do now. Uh, as I said, I have changed my build now. Uh, just try, just basically reacting to what I saw in his base. I see a spawning pool up that early. I'm not going to assume that I have time to get Banshees out before he starts just sending a massive ball of Zerglings in my base. But they are late. So you can see he's already 16 out of 18. Metabolic boost is on the way and he still has no Zerglings. He has no army whatsoever. I have one Marine. So as you can see, I completely outclass his army right now. Um, yeah, I hate when people go for the gas because it does screw up this thing forever. Uh, he has an overlord on the Zelnaga, the Zelnaga Tower, sorry, uh, and yeah, he, he can't use it. Don't know if you guys knew that. D there's no reason to put a guy there. Uh, I do have three wrecks on the way, along with a factory instead of the engineering bay because I have so much in gas. I had to take two guys off the off the, the refinery uh, so I can make up for the minerals. As you can see, I'm very short on minerals right now. I'm um, getting two, uh, two marines out of the reactor barracks, uh, just trying to fill up the bunker. I realize this is not a full block off, uh, but it is very skinny here. And if you've played any tower defense games, it is very tough to get those zerglings through there. Mules are out. Supply depot's still going up. So yes, three racks, and this will probably get a reactor on it. That'd be my guess. Doesn't doesn't do much of anything. I had to get these guys back on gas now uh, because I can't even get marauders out uh, because I am so low on gas. Uh, tech lab is going up, so no, I was wrong. Not a reactor, going for a tech lab. Now he is just going for his expansion. So I don't understand why he went for that 10 pool. Uh, maybe he was going to uh, 
maybe he was hoping that I didn't spot that early and he changed his build as well. But once I saw that ten pull, I, I definitely changed my build. And I assumed that he'd be rushing in like immediately, but he did not do that. He is getting a lair. Um he got the expansion, no transfer, doesn't need to transfer, but doesn't look like any drones are coming out of there. Uh, he is getting a queen, though. Did... no. You guys don't have... yeah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Zergling is going around trying to get some scouting done. Yeah, I, I don't have the expansion, no, because you went for a ten pull. Uh, he runs up. Uh, he is going to be able to spot the reactor on uh, on the barracks, so he does know that I have quite a few infantry units out there. He should know that. I am getting uh, Infernal Pre-Igniter, gonna get some Hellions out because I have to assume that he went for a massive ball of Zerglings, but he didn't. This, this is the massive ball right there. And Aspire is up, so definitely at this point I have to assume that he went for a tech switch. Um, you would never get the spawning pool up that early for Mutas. Just, just you wouldn't. I, I don't. I once again, not an expert on Zerg players or or strategies and with the Zerg, but this it just doesn't make that much sense to me. So after all this, and I realized that you know he, he's done nothing. I, I salvaged the bunker, and I'm s gonna move out here. There's my two Hellions. Of course, Prignar is not even close to being done. I am uh, going to get a Siege tank out as well uh, for some defense, but of course I can't research Siege tech for quite some time here. So Hellions are getting some scouting done for me, making sure there's nothing in the way. Um, that That's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. It's totally not that I have all these guys on one hockey and the Hellions are so much faster. But he, he should be spotting my army, as you can see, he is going to get a huge ball of Zerglings out now, 22 of them. Pregnatter is done by the time I get in there, and he backs off and just abandons the expansion. So I will take it. If you're just going to abandon it, I will destroy it. I'm not going to fight your army. If you're gonna, if you're just gonna give me the expansion like that, that is not a smart idea. So I'm moving up and I'm trying to inch along, trying to get a little scouting done. I can see these two queens here, just guarding the ramp. One of them gets caught off guard. That one will go down easily. I block them off here, uh, trying to get some damage done with the Hellions. They're a little bit out of position though, and I instantly take out the spine crawler that I see. Um, Oh, but the Muta spawned! Oh no, I'm doomed! Oh wait, I have a lot of Marines in here. Here's the Hellion. It has seven kills already. This thing is a beast with the Pre-Igniter. And there he goes, he leaves the game. So that was, uh... That was interesting. Really what saved that game for me was not the fact that I tech-switched. Which is what I had originally thought when I played this game. I'm like, oh, well that tech switch won it for me. And I was like, no. Um, I, I switched techs, as, you, as I did mention. I was going to go for the Banshees early. The, the, you know, get the early two refineries, one, two, and then go, you know, go for one, fact, one barracks, one factory, and then two starports, pump out two Banshees, maybe get four over here, no need to cloak, and then, um, you know, basically go in with Hellions and Marines after that. But when he s when I saw the 10 pool, I changed the build, pretty much got the three racks. I had enough, I had enough gas for, for a factory, so I went for the Hellions on top of that. But then when he never attacked, you know, it, it, I had to go for a push, and that push won it for me. Very surprised to see that. The spawning pool went up early when he s when I spotted it. I have to assume that he changed his build. That's the only that's the only explanation I can come up with. If you guys have a different explanation, like oh, this is the classic ten pool, and then don't attack until you get Mutas build. Feel free to tell me that. I will tell you it's a stupid build. I will tell you that right now, and if you're a Zerg player, you should never go for that build. Uh, as, like I said, I have to assume it's a tech switch. This guy ends up with 8 kills. He could have gotten a lot more, but the guy left the game. So yeah, there you go. 
sometimes it pays to get some scouting done. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.